now with a woman breaking records in aviation, becoming the first Latina pilot in the U.S. military. And now she's a retired lieutenant colonel on a mission to help a new generation of young Latinas take off. 1981 was very special for me as becoming the first Latina military pilot. My mission now, after being retired, is to do a lot of outreach for underserved communities, for young girls, and women who are still trying to find their place in the aviation and aerospace community. My inspiration came from my father. He was an Army professional soldier, and I wanted to serve as well. In order to become a military pilot, I want to say it took me 10 years for the opportunity and a year and a half before I got my wings. When I started the military, I was married and I had a four-year-old daughter. I had to study hard, do the same work as my peers. Being the only female wasn't my focus, even though we were given military uniforms that were all male. Male boots, male flight suits, male hats. And the only thing that was mine was my bra and underwear. We didn't even have female bathrooms in the squadrons for flight training. The female community in aviation aerospace when I started was 0.01%. And in 40 plus years, it's only risen to 6%. My big passion is working with nonprofits who advocate for aviation and aerospace. It's a pleasure and honor to be here today to see so many great people in aviation and women especially that we are celebrating today. After retirement, the word got out and especially when I did the Modelo commercial. That really elevated my platform nationwide. She flew into the history books as this nation's first Latino military pilot. I sit on many boards and do anything and everything I can to inspire other women, especially Latinas and underserved communities. It is important to have women in the STEM field because, first of all, I know that they're good at it. They need to know that they're good at it. And it brings a diverse perspective into any career field that has to do with STEM. There's a lot of women that are entering the field in a male-dominated world. The culture is still evolving. There's a lot of work to be done. So I'm still here. You are still here. I love when we do these stories because people need to see them in that cockpit. You often don't get to see them in the cockpit, and now you really do. And it's just so important for people to be able to see themselves. Yeah, that visualization gives you permission to dream. Mm, I love that. And soar, huh? Yes. <laughs> As a pilot would. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.